ones who are on original Medicare, now you have to decide, do you want to join Part C or Part D of Medicare? Part C is offered through private insurance companies who contract with the Social Security Administration and Medicare. These companies offer you an option that it has to be at least as good or better than original Medicare's offering. One of the reasons people love Medicare Advantage is because it often has a very low or no premium associated with it monthly. Medicare Advantage has four basic types of plans. The first is a health maintenance organization, otherwise known as an HMO. This is going to have a limited number of providers within its network. In this plan, however, you will have the option to pick based on who you want to see as a primary care physician and other specialists. It is important to note with an HMO that you do have to have a referral or pre-authorization to see specialists unless approved when you join. The next plan available is a Preferred Provider Organization, or PPO. These have much larger networks and often have the flexibility to seek providers outside of your network when necessary. People like these because you don't have to have a referral to see a specialist from your primary care physician. Just like other plans, you do want to make sure you stay in network to keep your costs as low as possible. Next we have what's known as a private fee for service or a PFFS plan. These plans have set rates that they require healthcare providers to accept. If you have a facility who does not accept the rates, the service would not be covered by your plan and you would be out of pocket for those services. Next are special need plans. Special need plans are meant for people with chronic conditions or disabilities. These conditions are set by the federal government, and so you can get these plans when qualified. These plans will provide benefits specifically for the people in the situations to try to keep costs as low as possible. Many of these plans also will have available to you the different enrollment options each year during your annual election period. The annual election period runs from October 15th to December 7th. Every year, you have the ability to review your plan, any changes that may come through on that plan, and decide what you'd like to be enrolled in starting January 1st the next year. The final plan available to you is a Medicare Savings Account, or MSA account. These are noted as Part C plans. However, they have a hybrid option to you similar to Medicare Supplement. A Medicare Savings Account will have low or no premium associated with it, and you will have an out-of-pocket expense that you will have to meet. On these plans, however, you often receive a deposit on a spending account, which you receive the first business day of the year. This money, when used for original Medicare regulated costs, will go toward the max out-of-pocket that you will pay that plan year. If you don't have any Medicare eligible spending, you can also use these plans for things like prescription drug needs and over-the-counter medications. This can be a great plan if available in your area as well. As you can see, there are several different options even available once you decide that Part C may be for you, and that is why Magellan Healthcare is here to help. Give us a call or reach out to us through the information on your screen now.